What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about some of these fantastic cane slash angel wing begonias that I have because my collection has been growing and growing and growing. But I just have to show you because these are fantastic growers. They put on a great display both um, leaf-wise and florally. Look at these flowers. Just really, really nice house plants that can be put outside in the warmer months if you live in temperate areas but um obviously they're tropical so you can keep them outdoors in uh florida you know southern florida in particular southern texas southern california places like that but uh these get really big look at this really really cool this one is uh sometimes called sophia or sophie cecile i believe Leaves are pretty big, you can see. These aren't even as big as they get, but you can see against my hand, and they have silver streaks throughout, nicely toothed or lobed leaves. Just very, very interesting, very tropical look. Bring a very tropical effect to your home. And given enough light, indirect sunlight, it will bloom for you continuously. Look at this. Really, really cool blooms. Um, so yeah, that's this one. Uh, as far as husbandry is concerned, I keep these, yes, in soil, but a very, very aerated soil. So it's got close to 50% perlite, 50% peat-based potting mix, and I water only when it's dry. And you can even let them wilt a little bit. They'll let you know that they're thirsty. But uh, I just kind of feel around in the soil probably once or twice a week just to make sure. And um, they'll let you know. Also, look at the back of the leaves. They have a blush, like a reddish blush. So pretty. Um, very easy to take care of. Just don't let the temperatures get, I'd say, below 45 or 50 degrees. Um, these type of tropical plants don't really appreciate that. But anyway, that's that one. Next one I'm going to show you is called Gray Feather. This one is not in bloom, but the leaves alone are really kind of beautiful. Sorry about the fireworks if you hear them in the background. People having a party. Uh, but look at these leaves. They have like a grayish, kind of a, a, a grayish green veining on the top surface. And the leaves are kind of shaped like feathers, as, as the name implies. And uh, another cane begonia. Uh, I don't know what color the flowers are on this one because it has not bloomed for me yet. But it is relatively new, so I'm sure I'll get it to bloom. Again, the reddish blush on the back. And... So far, a good bloomer. I've gotten a couple of new leaves out of this in the last couple of weeks. So a beautiful, beautiful plant and very easy to take care of. Same husbandry as the Sophia. Very, very easy. Uh, lots of perlite. Let the soil dry out before you water again. That'll also prevent the fungus gnats. But the plants, uh, even though they say they like damp soil, they're okay with the drying out. They're not gonna freak out on you and then die if they're not watered enough. So these guys definitely are winners as far as I'm concerned. I love begonias, but cane begonias in particular are just so amazing. And you get the flowers, not these, but some of them even have a fragrance to the flowers. And I'm waiting for one of those to bloom and I will let you know, uh, and I'll do a video when that one starts to bloom. But anyway, I just wanna show you these. Sophia or Sophie Cecile and Gray Feather cane angel wing begonias. So uh, yeah, if you like, have any questions, reach out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified, and I will see you in the next video.